Hello everybody, it is Meteorologist Agent's Weather Forecast. Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'll be talking about Winter Storm Diego. Winter Storm Diego can bring potential record fall, record setting snowfall for parts of Southeast. I just want to say sorry guys for not making a video yesterday. Yesterday I was actually in a car accident. Um, It was nothing bad. It's just... We weren't, um, the, the car just stopped in front of us really hard, and then we, we had no time to brake, but somehow we stopped, and we didn't hit the car in the front, but a car hit us from behind, but not, no damage, no, or there was some damage, but everybody was fine, so I'm just glad everybody was fine, and you got, you guys do not have to worry about it, it's perfectly fine, but and that's the reason why, because I was in the, an hour and a half just waiting for the police to come, and all that, but... It wasn't our fault. It was just she wasn't. She was going to, or she was too close to us. So, it was kind of. She had no time to react. But I'm okay, guys. Um, and sorry for not being able to make a video. So this is a new website called models.com, or weathermodels.com. You actually have to pay for it, but it's really high tech. Um, I just want to give a shout out to David Schlotthauer. He's my best friend on YouTube. He does weather. He's very smart. And he actually is a meteorologist. He's actually a professional meteorologist. He owns three stations, I believe, um, in Northern California. So go subscribe to him. He gave me a shout out. So shout out. I want to give a shout out to him. So just go subscribe to him. Um. So this is weathermodels.com. Yes, you got to pay for it monthly, but it's pr it's really high tech, guys. It's got everything. So this is the radar. Um, I'm actually I can actually control my ma my mouse. Oh, sorry guys. I actually went back. So let's go. This is actually um Friday. And you see the storms, the snowstorms start to go across northern Texas and parts of Oklahoma. Stays there for a while. And then some really a mix across Arkansas, Missouri, and Oklahoma. Heavy snow where North Carolina is. And actually, um Greensboro Greensboro, I believe, can get record setting snowfall. I think, I believe, after the blizzard in 1993. I actually, Georgia, where I live, got affected by that, but actually wasn't born, I wasn't on this earth. But, yeah. Um, by Friday, or not, Monday, some snow there, parts of Kentucky, Virginia, a mix there. But if you go back, you can see very heavy snow, Southern California, sorry, Southern Virginia and parts of Virginia, or parts of North Carolina. Sorry, guys. Um, and after that, just some mixed air, scattered snowstorms, and then some. Then after that, it goes into Tennessee and Georgia. So I'm in that snow right there in parts of Georgia. Um, and then I'm in. Then it goes from George, northern Georgia to South Carolina. Sorry, Atlanta. These models actually don't show snow for you guys, and then it just goes away. But as you can see, it actually starts. The storm actually makes its first snowfall around Friday. In Texas, and then end around Tuesday in Georgia. So let's actually go to snowfall, guys. Um, hold on, let me just. So this is actually what it will look like. Um, let me actually go back. All right. So here is what it will look like Thursday. No snow yet, but as you get. You can see some, you know, one inches in parts of West Virginia. But as you go, you can see some local, very heavy snow. Like up to uh, seven inches already in parts of northern Georgia and North Carolina. Just on Sunday, early Sunday. And then up to 11 inches in 16. And yeah, it goes on and on and on. So this is actually what the snowstorm looks like now. Or not now. Tuesday, and then actually parts of the coast can actually get about an inch or half. Um, so let's just go in the timeline. So starts maybe some up to an inch in parts of Saturday, and then it goes up and more and more. Um, yeah, Raven County, Georgia is actually about 40, 30 minutes north of me, and they're getting the jackpot. And this model actually shows a couple of inches for me, about, you know, two. But still a lot of time to um, change that. Um, let me actually go to tropical tidbits now. Um, this is actually the radar. It looks like December 6th. Let me go on. So 
so some very heavy snow. Both of these shows heavy snow for parts of northern Texas and Oklahoma. Snow there, parts of Amarillo, uh, it mixes in Arkansas, just north of Little Rock. Then Little Rock can get some snow there. And then it rises on Sunday or Saturday, parts of North North Carolina. And then heavy snow parts of Virginia, mixed in my, near Louisville. And then heavy snow North Carolina. And then we all know. And then just some scattered mixed across Virginia and North Carolina. And yeah. And then there's a storm that starts in Tennessee near Nashville. Some snow there for me. And then there it goes on in a way. So this is, it goes from, it's like a second wave basically. So very heavy snow up to two feet in parts of the Appalachian Mountains. And then I can say, um, what is it? Charlotte can get up to four inches. No more than that, because the models don't show that much snow. But yes, four up to four inches. And then it stays there for me. I mean, like near the Black Dot, which is Lake Lanier, one of the biggest lakes in Georgia. Let me actually go to the snow. Let me actually go to regions so you guys can actually see what it would look like. I totally forgot to do the regions sorry guys all right so this is um saturday with some scattered rain showers there were heavy sna- snow showers or sorry sorry guys i cannot speak english today heavy rain showers in texas and going to louisiana arkansas in the little scattered um some mix in arkansas and the little rock can get up snow there snow there northern North Carolina can get a mix near Boone, and then some very heavy snow just to the west of Raleigh. And then parts of Clemson can get a mix there, Raleigh getting heavy snow there. And then, you know, just scattered snowstorms, even south parts of Georgia right there, just south of me. Or not just south of me, that's actually pretty south. And then Raleigh getting a mix there, and then some snow, just scattered snowstorms in the second wave. So, yeah, that's what the radar looks like. And just let me actually go to precip moisture total snowfall. So, this is actually what the snowfall look like. Let me just go hourly, not hourly, daily. This, this is actually Saturday. So, up to two inches, up to five inches there. Part the Appalachian, and then Boone can actually get up to 14 inches. And I'm actually in that around two inch area there in Georgia and then some just some snow there so you can see pretty heavy snow amounts let me actually switch models though because I want to show three models for you guys let me go to the forecast model for this one So I just want to get another shout out for David Slothauer. He's amazing. He wants to get to 10,000 subscribers. He's almost there. So just go ahead and subscribe to him. This model actually shows less snow for Texas. Honestly, and more snow for Arkansas there. Very, a lot more snow there, parts of Arkansas. I'm surprised it shows no snow for in that forecast. Heavy snow in North Carolina. You can see the big difference. It shows a heavy, a lot heavier snow in North Carolina and even Kentucky. A mixed air, parts of Georgia. I'm actually, you guys see that black dot? Just look at that black dot in northern Georgia and that pinkish. That's Lake Lanier. I live just, I live just northeast of that. I'm like in the middle of that black dot. So I'm actually getting that action there in this model. I don't, I don't know which one to believe. Once we get Saturday morning, we actually have a clear image of what we can do. Get some heavy snow there, parts of North Carolina, and then it. Just leaves a little snow there, parts when it leaves in parts in northern Georgia. Let me go to uh, snowfall. I cannot, it wouldn't let me go to regions on south southeast, so I can just go to the east for this, because it would not, for some reason, would not let me go to the southeast. Now, here's what. It actually looks like it. You can see the, the big difference already. This is only Sunday. This, there's a humongous difference, guys. Like an example, on this one, it actually shows up to uh, 11 inches for me. 
but in the other one it shows around two. It shows uh, 23 inches in parts of North Carolina and South Carolina. And it even shows three inches in areas in Georgia that didn't even show snow in the other model. So, guys, there's a humongous difference in these two models. Of the, actually, They're actually both GFS, but there's a different GFS. So, and it shows a lot earlier snowfall for Georgia and South Carolina. It already shows snow there on Saturday and up to six inches already. 12, Boone, if this model's right, Boone will get pounded. Like, I mean pounded. And Charlotte can get up to 16 inches. On the other one, it shows four. Like, it's this is a humongous difference. But by Saturday morning, these models should be agreeing with to get each other. So, yeah, humongous difference, guys. Um, Yeah. So, um, I will actually, like, just comment to me below if you get hit by the storm. Um, I'm actually not sure what to believe, because the other model shows, the first one I showed you, this one actually showed two inches for me. And now, and then the other one, it actually shows, uh, 20 inches for me, and then the other one shows three inches for me. So, there's a humongous difference. But I will actually know, and there's probably a humongous difference for you guys, too. This one, it shows 24 inches in North, North Carolina by the Appalachians. And then on this one, about 23. So, yeah, humongous difference. It shows parts of northern Georgia in this one, about like a foot or so. This one actually shows like 19 inches. So, humongous difference. Hope you guys liked this video. Please consider to subscribe to me. And hit that bell for instant notifications. And hope you guys had a wonderful day. And sorry for the long video. And yeah, bye.